Greetings, YouTube. It has been months since I got a new six star. We're talking like two or three months because you see, I uh, can't even pull new six stars from six star basic crystals. I've opened several just strange dupes. The last one being something that I still don't know if I should be excited about at all in six star Heimdall. And then, of course, the featured Cavalier Crystal Luck over the course of a couple months resulted in zero six stars. So I was feeling pretty pessimistic about the uh, latest early access bundle opening. And even though I just purchased one out of two of the bundles, at least at the time of recording this, I haven't done a live stream yet, uh, I still was rewarded with the best pull I have had maybe ever in terms of drop rate and sanity. I would give the sub-featured six-star hero in the featured Cavalier Crystal at maybe like a 0.004% or 0.04%. Basically the same drop rates at best as, say, an Immortal Iron Fist or um, like in a Max Sig Crystal or maybe a four-star Punisher in a regular Arena Crystal or a five-star Punisher in the uncollected Arena Crystal. You can get them, but it's going to take you probably thousands of crystals to do so. So, yeah, I, you got to get a kick out of this. So look at his PI compared to Juggernaut. Same class. Juggernaut is already at rank 1, level 25. And he's over 200 points lower than Dr. Doom, who at the time of this awakening is at rank 1, level 1. So when I say awakening, I mean rank up. We don't have the means to awaken this guy, though... If we get a six-star awakening gem opportunity for uh, 15,000 units on Cyber Monday and we land on a mystic, you better believe it's going in this guy. So, here's the deal. You saw the uh, title of this video. It is a Doctor Doom rank up and gameplay. The rank up is going to be super short because I'm not taking him to rank two yet. Although, that does bring me to the next poll question which uh, I'll probably make an uh, official video for. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun? I should do a poll on Rank 2 Doctor Doom or a Hulkbuster. That would be fun. That'd be a fun discussion. Especially with, you know, the HB coming out. All right, so is his prestige going to get over 10,000? Oh, almost 12,000. That is nuts. If you want to see how high his prestige is, Wow. Ghost, Domino, and Corvus are all rank 2. Dr. Doom Unawakened is 440 points higher than Proxima Midnight is Awakened. And Prox does have a high PI. So, um, heck yeah. We can see that even without going to rank 2, almost 4,000 attack over 21,000 health. I do want to mention that my mastery setup does not have a single point in Mystic Dispersion. So if I really wanted to take advantage of this guy, I probably should do that. But uh, still, so many freaking arena points, and you all know how much I love the arena. I also just want to point out that uh, he has a ton of synergies. In fact, every single box in the synergy bonuses is full. There's eight synergy boxes, and there's some pretty cool looking symbols, may I add. So let's um, let's just throw him in. I have never played with this guy before, so this is going to be me going in blind and just kind of testing him out. I don't know if we're even going to complete the fight, but for the sake of argument, we got to go against the guy who desperately needs a new healthcare plan, and that's Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. I am going to kick out everybody in my normal squad for the sake of this video, and we're going to select Mr. Six Star Doctor Doom. Eight synergy bonuses. That's amazing. So let's just go through these and figure it out. Okay. I answer to no one. Attack rating is increased by 10% for each knocked out team member. You know what I should probably do? I Okay. I'm going to force quit four out of five members of my team before this fight too. I'm just, I've just made that decision. Okay. Heavy attacks are guaranteeing critical hits. Well, you know what? Why not? Let's throw in a Nihilus. Enhanced force field. I don't think I really care about that one for this fight. Uh, genius Ingenuity. Shock and Incinerate debuffs have 20% increased potency? Sure. I obviously can't bring in Mr. Fantastic, but I can bring in, in Doc Ock. Um, this one looks like a Sorcery Reversal. That might be cool. 
And then let's see, Cosmic Overload. Oh, we do not have that champion. Mystic Tyrants. Uh, successfully nullifies deal deal a burst of energy damage equal to 20% of Doom's attack. That might be cool. And Nemesis is just that. Yeah, let's let's do this one. Okay. So we're gonna jump in. As a reminder, I play on an archaic iPhone 6s. So we are going to uh, we're gonna see a lot of clicking or hear a lot of clicking, I should say. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're just going to knock out all our champs besides Doctor Doom, cause I'm feeling crazy. All right, quit fight. Let's not waste any time. He's knocked out. Doc Ock, sorry, should have uh, not lost control of your arms in this day today. And then Annihilus, the guy I hate. I, I might be the world's worst at fighting Annihilus. It's hard to imagine somebody who's worse at fighting him. And I'm sure if I did Alliance War, I'd be forced to get better. But even with him being like a master and uncollected boss, I beat him eventually. I don't know how. I also was attempting intercepts, and unlike the man, the myth, the legend, the goat, the analyzer, I am the world's worst at intercepting. I would just get, as Katie Candy would say, face blocked a whole bunch. So, all right. We now have, I think, that bonus. So let's... um. Let's just jump in and see what happens. Again, I don't know how long we're going to go. Maybe a couple minutes. Who knows if I'll even fight like uh, trash or not. We're starting out with some shock damage, though. Let's try. Well, I guess we have. Oh, okay, so, so one heavy gets the stagger. And then under stagger, guarantee critical hits. So parry, critical hit. 9,000? That ain't bad, although the lag just got up to me. Okay, so staggered. I see how this works. So you want to do two heavies. And you also want to parry correctly. Okay, well, let's try that again. Come on. All right, that ain't no... He does have beautiful animations. Beautiful animations. I mean, this guy's going to be a ton of fun. Okay, come on. I want to stagger. Come on. If only you could do everything I wanted you to do, right? We've all been there. Come on. Come over here. Okay. Parry, stagger, great. Let's let's fire up a special three. Let's just see what happens. He's staggered. 12% bonus. Not the best. Not landing the green. Man. That just the animations. Regardless of whether or not you love or hate Kabam, their animators have done a flawless job this year. Oh, stun shock. That was cool. And now, that shock damage is building. Look at that. Wow. Two staggereds. All right, let's see if we can fire off a special two next. Oh, that's fun. That's some fun incinerate damage. I'm loving this. Add the shock on. Wow. He's just a lot of fun to play. All right, we got the stagger. I want to do the guaranteed crit, so... Add some shock damage. All right. Come at me, bro. All right, just missed it, but now we're going to wait. When in doubt, wait for the champion to come to you. Boom. Guaranteed crit. And one more. Let's see how much that crit is doing. Again, 9,000. With two staggers, we're going to put on that special two. And just see, just see it going. Yeah, he's a ton of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun. And for prestige sake, if I get that awakened opportunity, all right, let's fire off a special one again. Unblockable. We know that from the event quest, right? Now, I know he is apparently a power control beast, and I am not doing a good job at all of showing that. I'm just, you know, trying to fire off crits for fun. But it's, um, man, it's a ton of fun. I know I, I keep saying that, but beautiful animations, crazy crit damage, staggers, that tick damage. And, and who knows? I, I might be doing the world's worst at fighting with this guy. I'm just jumping in, starting out, 102 hits, you know. But 
I don't mind it. I do so much fighting in the arena that really my favorite thing to do is just fight with champs. I look forward to fighting in the arena because the arena is BS, especially when it feels like it's an all or nothing node, which happens a lot when you're in those deathmatch territory and win streaks 11 through 15. All right. Well, we might as well finish the fight. He's got, you know, he's got 5% damage. Assassin territory. Charge ahead. Do a special one. Maybe we get a potion out of this video. That'd be cool, right? And he is done. Cool. Rewards? Hey, there we go. There's a level 3 health potion we were asking for. All right, YouTube. Well, that was fun. Again, I apologize for not being the world's greatest Dr. Doom player, and you probably heard a lot of clicks, but it's just kind of a realistic way to jump in and see how he hits. I think that he has beautiful animations, a ton of utility. I look forward to figuring out how the heck he's so good at power control because, uh, like I said, did not display that in this video. But overall, I just want to say, hey, most of you who follow my channel, you know I get far more bad luck than good luck like anyone who gambles at the Marvel Casino of Champions and so today was an all-time great day, and I just want to say that I appreciate everybody reaching out, saying congrats. I've heard from fellow YouTubers, Captain Bay, Seton, uh, etc. You all have been amazing, and I owe it all again to the PEP 1000 method, which produced, as Profbox said, the Prof Cough, which is when I get really excited and don't know how to process something. It only happens a couple times a year, but man, it's a little embarrassing, but also kind of funny. Sometimes in life, you just got to laugh at yourself, you know? All right, thanks for watching. We're in this video here, and I look forward to uh, trying out this guy more, maybe even awakening him. Come on, Cyber Monday. Give us that six-star class-based awakening gym. We've been waiting long enough for it, Kabam.